Hello everyone, this is Seema on behalf of Jashni Van Management and Promoters. Today, again we are here with another book, another guest and another topic of discussion. And let me tell you, today we are going to talk on a book that is Garden of Fragility, a collection of poetry by Neelam Saxena Chandra. So, before introducing Neelam Saxena Chandra, I would like to tell you a little about the book. Uh, that uh, this book is collection of 50 poems and uh, which are showing different aspects of life. And uh, today we are going to talk so many things about this book, like how it was written and what's inside the book, like what kind of poems are here. So uh, let me take... Um, an honor to introduce Neelam Saxena Chandra with you people. So, uh, before that, I would like to add Neelam. Hello, Hello Seema. Hello, friends. Uh, Ma'am, many, many congratulations for this book. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you it's so much. It's already in my hand and I can't resist <laughs> without showing it to the audience. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so before introducing uh, anything, I would like to introduce about you to the audience. You are having a huge bio, but I selected few <laughs> things uh, which I feel people should know. Uh, Neelam Saxena Chandra has authored five novels, one novella, an eight short story collection, 36 poetry collection and 14 children book. She is a bilingual author writing in English and Hindi. More than 2,000 of her poem stories have been published in various international and national journals, anthologies, magazines. She holds a record with the Limca Book of Record 2015 for being the author, having the highest number of publication in a year in English and Hindi. She has won several international and national awards. She was listed in Forbes as one of the most popular 78 authors in 2014. When she is not working, or writing, she loves game of table tennis, anchoring, acting, working, and so many things besides large, large dose of laughter. So, uh, and uh, this is the very least I'm talking about Neelam, ma'am. Like she has a lot to share with us. Uh, with this, I would like uh, Neelam, ma'am, to say a few words. Thank you, Seema. I think we should take uh, our guests of honors first, and then we can. Yes. Definitely. So I'm adding uh, Shweta Rohira, our first guest today. Hello, everyone, Hi. and congratulations on the book. And I'm Hi, so Shweta. happy that you know I'm mm -hmm. here today on your other book because I love your books and they are always so much fun and there's so much uh, depth with so much positivity. So I'm super happy to be here. Thank Hi, you so much, dear Shweta. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, welcome, Shweta, and thanks again for joining us. And uh, let me tell the audience about Shweta, and a lot more Shweta will be telling us. <laughs> so, uh, Shweta is in short, Shweta is a model, Shweta is an actor, Shweta is an artist, and uh, Shweta has, uh, has done her um, like so many plays. And uh, Shweta is also a social media influencer. And, and above that, Shweta is a book reviewer. And uh, she is, I think, an avid reader as well. And uh, uh, maybe I'm missing a lot. So, Shweta, I would like you to tell us a little about you. Well, you've already said a lot. And uh, <laughs> let's today talk about the book because I'm all excited to talk about and recite a poem from the book. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I'm waiting for that recitation. So let me add our, uh, another guest of honor, Milin, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Seema. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. And uh, thank you so much for, you know, agreeing for this uh, coming as a guest of honor at our book launch today. And uh, before we start our discussion, I would like to introduce you hear. to... Sorry. So can you hear?
Melan is saying he cannot hear. Uh, I, I think we can all hear. So Melan, maybe you would have to drop once and come in again. Yes, that's the issue. I think because we all can hear. So maybe... I think we'll have to write to him. Yes, yes. So should I write him? Or are you writing? You. Okay. I'm writing. Okay. Okay. Neelam, can Maybe you hear some me? Some technical issue. Can hear because I cannot hear Seema. Uh, so, uh, can uh, you hear me? Am, am I audible? Ma'am, am I audible? Can you hear us, sir? Yes, sir is not I able can, to hear me. I can hear Milan. I can hear Seema. I can hear Shweta. I can hear everybody. Even I can hear everyone. Even I am able to hear everyone. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the best part of life. There has to be some or the other glitch, and then we yes. are successful. <laughs> <laughs> Being digital is something um, like you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like life. Without, you don't know what's going to happen. Kitna bhi ab prepare karna. Ab kitna bhi prepare karna, like ab kitna bhi prepare rao, but. <laughs> There is something. The online thing has uh, uh, shortened the boundaries and made us meet each other. Like after meeting online, Shweta and I met each other in person, and wow, it was such a wonderful moment. So, like it, uh, the distance has decreased in some manner, but yes, some glitches are always there. So, so being, uh, being online, there are glitches, but on the other side, if we see, like, we are knowing so many people being online, and it doesn't feel like you know unknown when we even meet in person. So, uh, sir, is again, uh, let me add. I don't know why I'm not able to add him. Ma'am, I don't know. There's no like, you know, uh, option of adding him now. His camera is off. Now he's there. Ah, there. Uh, okay, so I, uh, uh, so I, 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 I have there two places I'm So I'll switch on. Yeah, because yeah, there's because a echo. There's so switch on one. I will switch on. I think he was with two systems, so there was echo. <laughs> <laughs> Double role में थे। पहले आ नहीं रहा था, आए तो double आए। Directors experiments भी करते हैं। <laughs> अब मिलन जी से पूछना पड़ेगा कि मेले में बिछड़े हुए भाई तो नहीं थे। हाँ, वही एक एक में option ही नहीं आ रहा था add करने का, दूसरे में उनका option आ रहा था add करने का। Okay, okay. Now I'm waiting for him. <laughs> so after that we can like continue. So Shweta is all set with her poem today. <laughs> yes, I am all set and I'm going to read Heavenly Fairies. Heavenly Fairies. <laughs> what so made you choose that, that poem? I thought Somewhere, like, you know, being the daughter, I related to it that that's exactly what my parents would be thinking about me as a little fairy. And the whole poem felt like as if it was like my parents and me. So that's why I chose Heavenly Fairies. So sweet. Yeah. Even I love yeah. that poem yeah. a lot. Sir is saying he's well, on his screen. And... Uh, let me add. Uh, now I think that he's. Hello, sir. Come. Yes. <laughs> so are you able to hear me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. Your introduction was left. <laughs> so let me introduce uh, Milan Nuke, sir. 
So, uh, uh, Milin Doigi is an Indian film director. He made his debut with the film Desh Devi in 2002. He did other movies like Hanuman, uh, Hamne Jina Seekh Liya, Get Educated, Paatshala, Dehradun Diary, and Ranveer The Martian. His 2018 includes Sobat, uh, Lagi To Chagi, and Mansoon Futwa. Maybe I am mistaken in pronouncing some movies because I am hearing for the first time. <laughs> so I think Sir is the better person to tell us more about him. Yeah, but uh, again, like I say, uh, yes, I, I just briefly because this is Nilam show. But I just tell myself mm -hmm. so that you know who I am. So I'm a film director, and we uh, for the same college, uh, engineering, of course. And now we're both in a different profession. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer uh, from uh, VRC now, VNIT in Nagpur, and Neelam from the electrical engineering from the same college. So that's how we are, you know, like uh, old pals. And uh, after that, uh, I uh, did my FTI, and I was a graduate from there. Then I worked in Sanjay Lila Bansali as associate director for many years, and then I made ten uh, feature films. Uh, one of the biggest feature films is a Patshala with Shahid Kapoor and Anna Patekar, and uh, the, I got one Marathi film in 27 award. That's a Devki. And uh, my recent film is Mon Monsoon Football on the women empowerment and football. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is enough on from my side. So I'm very excited first uh, to you know uh, connect with Nilab's book. I read many of the poetries from there. I, it was uh, very enchanting and uh, revealing. And uh, please uh, take over. So, uh, Neela ma'am, do you have something to tell us about or uh, should we take a moment to release the book on the screen? Let's release the book first and then we can. Okay, so I'll request all the guests to please hold the book on the screen so that we can create a moment here. So somebody is clicking the uh, screenshot, please, or shall I do that? Yes, no. yes, sir. Will we'll take. Uh, we'll take. It. Yeah, I will uh, do the screenshot as well. Just a moment. And here goes the. Bye. Right. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, many many congratulations, ma'am, and it's a oh, wonderful wish. cover. <laughs> thank you, thank you so thank much for making me part of this. Congratulations. It is my pleasure and I am so overwhelmed that you, um, means both of you along with Seema are so close to me and uh, you are there in the show. Melinda is releasing my third book and Shweta is with me uh, for my third book as well. So <laughs> it's a really overwhelming moment mm -hmm. for me. Really wonderful, ma'am. I request you to please tell us a little about your book, like what it is all about, how you came to with this title, Garden of Fragility. See, basically, basically. during the lockdown times, uh, I've written a lot of poems because a lot of thoughts used to keep coming in my mind. And, uh, you know, those were the times when uh, sometimes you would feel that life is so fragile. But then uh, in a day or two, you would feel, no, it's a garden and there's fragrance too. So uh, like uh, if you read about the book, uh, what I've written is, what's life? It's a garden of fragility. Nothing is permanent, be it murkiness, nothingness or happiness. Life is meant to take you through various paths during its journey. And you are ultimately meant to enjoy trading on them. For it is, after all, a garden. And gardens are known for their fragrance. So it goes with my basic belief that whatever may happen, we should not lose optimism. Until the moment we are here on this planet, there's some mission. And uh, we should keep on motivating others, smiling. And laugh. Uh, as I said, one of my hobbies is laughter. I often say that. So that is also to encourage and motivate people. So there would be difficult times. There would be uh, difficult times either in your personal life, your official life, or uh, everywhere around us, like it, it has been the last two years have been really tough for us. But there's some uh, 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 sunshine that is always there. And we should uh, remember to see that and keep moving on. 
and uh, you know in this book uh, uh, which uh, you are all having and which you must have all read there are different shades sometimes i am very upset but again i am motivating myself and uh, then i am trying to spread positivity so it is a collection of different kinds of thoughts and i am also treasuring the moments the people the friends who are there with me who have been there, uh, there with me in my life uh, so uh, it's about various emotions that came to me during that period wonderful and uh, when we talk mm-hmm. about neelam saxena's books uh, so like i am associated with ma'am uh, professionally after a long time be- before that i've been a reader <laughs> so uh, mm-hmm. uh, what i see is your uh, books are having so many positivity and there is always a happy ending kind of thing uh, when we talk mm-hmm. about the stories uh, is the same thing goes with your poem as well in this in this book mostly mm-hmm. yes 90% yes there have been days where i felt very uh, means i felt like crying or when i heard some stories um, that de- those days would be very, really tough for me because uh, like any other creative person i am very sentimental so yes uh, some poems have shades of uh, sadness too but mostly they have they are motivating in nature and um, uh um in most of the poems i am searching for the happiness which i am finding that's really wonderful uh, so i think uh, ma'am you must be having some of your favorites as well and we would like to hear from you but before that i'd like to go to shweta and ask her uh, what she has to tell about the book and also if she has any favorite <laughs> poem from that <laughs> well it's very difficult to choose a favorite because like uh, ma'am say she's written such beautiful poems touching so many topics and you know it's a collection of so many poems like you know i was so confused i wanted to talk about audition being an actor it was i thought oh let me recite that poem and then i said okay let me recite this poem so anyways to choose it became difficult and that's always the case with her book of poems because you actually resonate with every poem and like she says you know life is something where you are on this planet of earth you need to choose so might as well choose to be positive to you know make the most of it even if you feel negative to get out of it and like she said you know like her happiness just spreads through her words too so it was beautiful reading the poem and i think everyone should read the poem because um, all the poems have something or the other you're going to resonate with and though i was confused which one should i but uh, i'm going to read heavenly fairies and um, after that i will also say why i chose this one <laughs> so uh, heavenly fairies destiny's miracles bundles of joy strong in deeds by nature coy like a colorful kite flowing on younger the sky aspiring and dreaming to reach high 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 sweet innocent caring and loving daughters are nature's bliss determined courageous sentimental emotional daughters are heavenly fairies like little angels they enter our lives soothe our minds conquer our hearts love love and love is only what they desire give them unconditional support and they will shine like stars cuddle with them hug them kiss them like smiling flowers their fragrance shall spread a little indifferent shall make them wither away encourage enthuse and make them always raise their head A self-confident daughter is like a happy bird, spreading her wings, eager to fly. Shape her, mold her, and then leave her free to spread happiness and gaiety in the sky. Seeing her fly, your lips shall smile. Watching her reach new heights, your heart shall go boom, boom. When she cuddles with you, back on reaching the ground on your face, heavenly satisfaction shall bloom. from heaven up there if he sees his little angel blooming it's his blessings i'm sure this is exactly what he would like to tell me as a fairy from up above so from all the favorites this is one that i thought i should recite today and dedicate it to him 
and that's, that's really wonderful that's and i don't know suddenly i'm not able to hear you shweta no oh, we are able to hear her we are able to hear shweta uh, are you able to hear me seema i'm on actually am i audible seema are you able to hear am i audible to you you are audible but are you able to hear us i think seema is not able to hear us <laughs> <laughs> technical glitches yeah <laughs> yes yeah, she decided she couldn't hear us and she logged out to go to hear speak so Should you I know rita um, uh i wrote this on daughter's day actually and uh, sachi right are you from... able to hear yes and ma'am as ma well yes we are able to hear yes over to you nilam ma'am please tell us about the heavenly fairies yeah so i wrote this poem on Hello. daughter's day uh, and uh, you know the thought had been going on in my mind since the beginning that my daughter should be a self confident daughter why should she feel uh, she doesn't have all the privileges and why she shouldn't feel blessed so that's the way i've raised her and i hope i have been successful but yes uh, one day i asked her from where do you find your motivation and she said you are my starting point so that was the best gift that she has given me and uh, i'm really a blessed soul to have such a beautiful daughter and i'm so happy to have her it is a I'm very so likewise i think so we are all daughters <laughs> uh, we are all daughters except Melinda, but Melinda has a beautiful daughter, and I've met yes. her. Yeah, <laughs> so, so actually, I can connect with this poetry so much now. How I'm doing? Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are audible. Finally, <laughs> there are always something <laughs> which happens. <laughs> so, no problem, no problem. I wasn't able to hear uh, the full poem by Shweta, but I'm sure she must have recited it so beautifully because I yeah, know. she always does. <laughs> <laughs> you all are being kind. It's just your words are so nice and sweet that automatically you resonate with it, and it feels like okay, somebody's given voice to your thoughts. <laughs> Actually, this is the speechlessity of Neela, ma'am. Like I am reading her. Like I've been fan of her four liners since long, and I told her <laughs> that many times. Uh, she uh, her language is so smooth and you know so friend. Like you know anybody can understand it. Even it's in English or it's in Hindi. Like you know sometimes in even in English you try to understand, but sometimes you. things get above your head and you're not able to understand so when you don't understand so you can't relate it with yourself and so that is something beautiful about neela ma'am's writing so with this i would like to invite uh, milin sir to please say a few words about book and which book which poem sorry which you have, poem you have chosen to decide uh, so uh, yeah, thank you thank you seema so uh, of course uh, the moment i received this book uh, i immediately start reading because uh, i love poetry uh, personally you know uh, one of the one of the best art form you know and uh, i think poetry is a, a form which is a, one of the most difficult uh, but most potent and most profound to express any kind of a thoughts in a artistic form that is what i believe you know and if somebody has that art form then i must say that he's a great artist so nilam automatically qualifies that <laughs> uh and so uh i'm always uh, you know poetry is some kind of you know secret door opens so i want i'm always you know excited somebody says poetry so i see yeah, i know i want to listen because i need to read the complete novel or the 10 or 15 pages of uh, you know a short story or you know engross into the uh the, the painting you know and decode it the poetry is you know one pager or a half pager two pager sometime and it opens such a big universe in front of you in a slightly coded language so there is a secrecy and the revolution both together so everybody is vanished you are on solo you are on spotlight right now 
solo layout now. Let's see you and hear you. Okay, you are in the show. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, yes. All right. So, uh, so that way, uh, when I read first six or seven, immediately I SMS, uh, you know, uh, Neelam and told that I already started reading your book the moment I got it, and it's so amazing. So I'm really excited, and you know, I want to really not only on the show. I'm so happy, but I'm going to share all your poetries, you know, mm-hmm. with my friends and my groups, and you know, my family and everybody, and you know, uh, like this, uh, this uh, uh, daughters. Now I'm going to share with my daughter, and you know, uh, the, the now which one which I'm going to read is our entire class. You know, colleagues are on the same age of 50 plus. So, so I'm going to read those ones for them. So I hope that uh, it doesn't breach the copyright. <laughs> I hope that when I read it, okay, I believe that. So, as and rightly, Sima has pointed out that the the everybody has his way of you know depicting and uh, expressing uh, his or her art form. So Neelam has a very interesting way of telling the ideas in a simpler uh, form where the common person can easily get connected, you know, and understand and try to understand the higher truth of the life in a simple word. It's an art form and uh, not everybody is, uh, you know, accustomed that. For example, when I try to write a poetry sometime, then I make it very difficult and I enjoy making it very difficult. So I'm sorry, uh, it is absolutely other way around, you know. So uh, I like to play with the riddles because... Uh, I, uh, I personally like to resolve uh, this all readers, so I also try to create readers. In Ilam's writing is exactly opposite. She uh, not only solves the readers, but the, she also gives that uh, solutions in the same uh, solved formation, you know, not in another reader. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a really good and uh, it is a great art form. I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> so my films are very simple. No, they are not so much of it. Uh, so I will read this poem. I think this is very apt. So I there are another poems which uh, you know I really like. The poem about poem, you know, it is very nice. Uh, the poem about poem is you know it is window within window or uh, you know in front of a mirror. Uh, so that is also very nice. But I will read uh, something which right now you know we are going through. Oh, you know? and uh, you know sometimes this poem makes you. Uh, happy and sad together at the same time. You know, same chills. So that's why I love this poem. So the garden of 50s. By the time you are about to reach 50, you become a large garden with a variety of plants and trees growing on your heart. There may be a large banyan tree of a grief that stands hidden at the center with its roots emerging from here and there. Then there may be a tall tree of confidence, of nothingness, that keep growing on their own without the need to water them. So, so wonderful. I mean, you know, life is so wonderful. And there may be a few creepers that feed from your carefully planted trees, unwanted, but still a part. Oh, vices can't help it. Of your life, sometimes blossoming to blur. To and spreading cheer. There may be a thorny plant of practice which you have planted on the peripheries of your vulnerable heart to ward off unwanted people coming into your life. Oh, they become so picky in our life for the kind of time. Okay, and there may be a beautiful shrubs of roses of love too. Love which you never showed, but that still blooms in your heart. Well. That's something really, you know, touch my heart. There may be a large mango tree of affection, the tree that keeps bearing fruits without uh, whether someone needs them or rejects them. So, so I mean, you know, the, uh, when I was reading the poem, and when this point, you know, it was suddenly become so philosophical. It was so wide and profound. You know, it, it's really from very, very personal to such a, uh, you can say, holistic, you know, it become a tree, you know, you made it. As if that entire tree is, you know, overshadowed the entire earth. You know, so beautiful. And then it concludes. But then there are thousand lilies. And this is so nice conclusion. I, 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 when the, but then there are thousand lilies that keep growing hither and hither in the garden of your heart that make you smile in this garden of practice. And see, this garden yes. remains. 
it's so and I, I picked up the uh, actually the later i realized when i finished the poem actually i picked up the title of the book in this poem so the, the title of the book has been around this poem so it means that yeah. I, he has read the essential and picked up the essential one probably what near nilam and we both are sharing the same you know uh complex uh, emotional journey at this moment of a time you know 50 around 50 around you know, 50 so. so i think uh, this is this is one i want to read with every colleague of mine you know engineering and uh, films and even and they will all say what a wonderful feeling what a wonderful feeling. thank you so much milan thank you everyone thank you milan for choosing this poem uh, it indeed was the poem which made me uh, decide the title of this book and uh, you know uh, actually poems more often are autobiographical so like i was indeed roaming in my garden one day during the lockdown times and i was seeing so many trees creepers everything and i i was in a very philosophical mood and maybe i was upset when i started my walk but by the time i completed i came across these lily, lilies and uh, that is what made me write this poem when i came inside my house and i thought ki there are so many emotions inside us by this time we've gathered so many emotions and uh, but uh, this uh, some happiness there was a moment of self realization ki yes i should not be so uh, pessimistic there are so many things happening but yes there are lilies all around us and we should be very happy so uh, this is how the poem ended on a positive note if you come to my house you can take a round of all these plants and you will uh, plants and trees and you will see this <laughs> somebody is really giving such a deep meaning to the trees and the human life you know with everything and emotions and the uh, you know entire complex structure of a human life so it is really uh, you know uh, what you can say uh, it connects myself to the environment you know you you really make us so every human life at a 50 as wide as the earth and the plantation into that so the next time i look at the any, any of the plant then i try to relate myself with that thing such a wide you know feeling you have created this poem so it's really wonderful it's absolutely wonderful. thank you thank you so much so uh, that was uh, very nice and i can see uh, how sir can relate himself with this uh, poem and uh, as i was uh, telling all in the beginning that you know you can connect and you can relate with uh, neela ma'am's writing there are uh, i've seen the poem with title friendship poem poetry poets you know there are so many things uh, like where we can relate and we can connect ourselves So Nilamma I would like you to recite any of the poem which you feel like you know okay let me render the poem the tree covered in red this is again about uh, a tree and you know i feel very connected to nature whenever i have time i just like to go in a silent place where there are some mountains or rivers or streams and just sit there silently and enjoy life so and you know they pass on the nature passes on so much, uh, so many philosophies of life to us so this was one such uh, deja vu moment the tree covered in red the large tree standing tall and erect sways in joy as september spreads its cloak of happiness come october a few exquisite red Blue. The tree is exuberant, dancing in sheer delight. Come November, the rains drizzle. The atmosphere is vibrant with hope. Now the tree is completely red, and even the tramp who passes by looks at it in naked bewilderment. Soon, it's December. the frost covers the earth the flowers wither and the tree becomes barren i've passed by the tree several times during the year but i've never seen it grieving and even in the month of december 
it smiles and waves at me i look at it amazedly and ask don't you grieve for your loss it replies with a grin no there's no use shedding tears i wait for the next september to come and cover me with red once again so this was my poem the tree covered in red so uh, is this is another poem i had read and you know again is so philosophical and so reassuring you know for uh, as you know it said you must have wrote this poem into the one of those profound uh, you know state of mind when you really want to to encourage people you know again looking at the nature and yeah it, nature teaches us so much you know every day sun sets and again rises next morning and this routine never goes off so i think that's how our life has to be if everything is rhythm in the nature then why we are in out of the nature so your poem is yeah. about the you no know, uh, the sync with this thought of the nature you know, harmony and the rhythm so quickly you could uh, catch the essence of what i wanted to say thank you so much this is what uh, you know ma'am we are talking about <laughs> your poems are so relatable <laughs> and everybody is like very comfortable with that <laughs> so shweta uh, let me know if you have any thoughts after listening the book like i said you know when i read the book ma'am generally words are something that we all have the thoughts but we've never been able to voice it so she magically uh plays with her words and uh, we all resonate with everything like you know i resonated with audition i resonated with the trees and like sir said there's so much out there in nature to learn from you know to get positive hope from and um, it's these learning that keep us going and make us smile and get through our lives so the garden of fragility is a poem book but it teaches a lot so i'm glad that i got a chance to read this book and i would love to spread these poems further because you never know which poem might give hope to whom <laughs> and i think That's i should say kind of kind and sweet of you shweta thank you so much dear and uh, let me ask sakshi as well sakshi you are a silent uh, you know listener since long uh, and she is a young reader as well so do you have anything like any idea how would like to explain uh, these books mama as the book suggests that it covers all the facets of life so i uh, i request if you can put the light on what book covers about the childhood part ah uh, yeah uh, like uh, it's about childhood friends and this poem also came uh, you know like uh, uh, when the first phase of corona was going on uh, uh, i was in a uh, zone of containment and uh, i procured material for two months but there was no way i could get anything you know because um, everything was locked we were barricaded everywhere so uh, suddenly a call comes from a school friend and she asks me neela are you fine or do you have any problem so like it was so touching at that moment when i was really so lonely and really feeling ki how do i get my next supply of uh, vegetables or food or something and this call comes so you know childhood friends are those uh, whom you can never forget and they are always there though they may not be connected all the time but they are always there and i suppose all of you must be having such childhood friends yes ma'am so this is uh, this was the time when i wrote this poem yes, this poem yes. and yes. she came over to meet me despite the difficulties uh, despite the barricade she came to meet me uh, just to talk to me and sit with me for some time and she came with a lot of things for me so that was really so sweet <laughs> Um, this is the speciality of friends you know and especially the childhood friends <laughs> friendly yeah really can relate with this poetry poem and i i have one childhood friend and uh, the way he uh, you know always uh, try to keep in touch with me and 
the in fact i have forgotten sometimes some of the memories of that time you know and he rec- keep on recalling me and when he recalls that and try to remind me what what happened that time i feel so good about it and then i say oh you you are making me to relieve those wonderful moments so that is only because you are a child friend you know you, he always want to cherish those moments and then those are the purest and moment of the innocence you know we may be having a difference of opinion right now we can have the different political ideologies and you know lot of complications but the childhood friend that purity and innocence that you experience that moment of time it remains till now and that's the most beautiful part of human life you know and that comes in your poetry so i think and that is another poem i'm going to share with some people definitely <laughs> thank you Uh, i think neelam ma'am has covered almost all the aspects of life like i can see a journey within kolkata bridge <laughs> collapse and uh, there is the vlog an old bollywood song uh, like shweta told the auditions <laughs> like there are so many aspects of life and readers have you know variety of poems to read and they can you know connect themselves with so i think uh, and uh, sorry is anybody <laughs> i thought anybody is saying something <laughs> so um, i would like to tell all the viewers that uh, you know book is available even on amazon and flipkart and uh, soon we will be making it available at bookstores as well and it's a wonderful collection i'm again <laughs> showing it to the readers the beautiful cover of the book and uh, um as before closing i would like neela ma'am to say something like which she feels like Mm, i would like to thank milan shweta seema sakshi and all the viewers who have joined us today for being with me in during this book launch i would also like to thank my family for their unconditional support and i would uh, rem- lo- love to remember my old friends uh, and new friends who make my life worth living thank you so much most welcome ma'am and i uh, <laughs> many many congratulations again ma'am for this book and uh, hope this will become a huge success and i think it this was already in you know hot releases and it was already in under 3 in best seller list as well on amazon and uh, yeah. <laughs> and with this i would like to thank milan sir shweta sir Akshi, thank you for being there, and ma'am, thanks a lot for always introducing me with your, you know, with your new content every time. And, uh, and I would like this to idea. thank you for being a part of my literary journey since last four five years. Thank I suppose you. we've been together. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Even we feel proud to have you with us. <laughs> like we are growing with you, actually. I would say, and uh, thank you, everyone. And I hope readers. Uh, gonna read this book and they love your work for sure and i think that's all for the day and uh, thank you everyone for being with us and namaskar all namaskar thank you everyone thank you seema ma'am thank you melin sir shweta ma'am and neelam ma'am thanks dear sakshi okay. bye bye good night everyone bye